Hey, 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 hope you're doing great. This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to get your cursor to change its function in Pro Tools. There's two ways to do it. You can have it where your cursor always stays in the same place. So when you start and stop, it always goes back to its original starting position. Or you can change it so it stops, the cursor remains where you hit stop. Let me show you. So this is one way. Notice the cursor goes right back. If I hit this little button right here, it's called insertion follows playback. Now, notice how the cursor stops and I pick up where I left off. So um, I like working with both ways. They have both, they both have useful functions. Um, some guys hate it this way, some guys love it this way, some guys hate it this way, some guys love it this way. I always think there's an advantage to both, that's why there are multiple options. Anyways, hope that helps you, and uh, have a great day with audio, music, mixing, sound design, whatever you do in the audio world. And I'll catch you on the next one. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and have a great day or night wherever you are.